Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carter with Bits Be Trippin'. We're here at Miners Just Rupt, and I'm here with Epic, and I'm really excited about this one because we have been testing these boards for the last few months, and we have a lot of good feedback that we want to bring to you guys. As we've been working with you guys, you guys have had a couple patch updates since we got our first ones, and I want to get, I want to dive into what you guys have coming up. I know you guys have a, a new miner coming out. You guys have control boards, and in this space, parts are a big deal. Like uh, people looking for. They have S19s, they have, you know, M50s, they have different uh, ASICs. Looking for control boards, getting them quick is a big key piece to keep the operations running. And I want to introduce you, let you have okay. some time to introduce yourself and, and Epic and let people know, like, who you guys are. Okay, great. Uh, so thanks for uh, finding a time to meet with us. I, yeah. uh, I don't do this very often. It's, uh, we're, we're a small startup. We uh, got a lot of traction. Uh, we come from a semiconductor background, and this crypto space is so exciting. Um, I've been with the company for about three or four years. Uh, Epic, uh, we do chips, we do control boards, mm -hmm. we do now systems, and it's it's been an incredible journey where we can actually uh, grow, uh, meet customers, and uh, build traction. And uh, for you, you folks actually wanting to meet with us is uh, for me yep. a, a great milestone. And uh, you know, we've uh, rolled out this week uh, our micro BT control board, and uh, one of our philosophies has really been about uh, helping our clients succeed. As much as we can do our own products, uh, when our clients and customers uh, tell us that we can actually help other other products like micro BT or like Bitmain, uh, we do that. And mm -hmm. it seems a little odd that Epic as a company can actually help yeah. potentially our, our competitors uh, improve. But for me, it's all about the customer satisfaction and their experience. So some of the microcontrol boards that we give, that you're, I'm, I'm thrilled they see that you're using, mm -hmm. uh, can actually improve performance, can actually extend the life of their products. Um, and uh, that's goodness for, I think, the ecosystem. It's goodness for yep. uh, ourselves. Uh, we're rolling out uh, uh, an Intel-based uh, miner, and mm -hmm. uh, for a small team like ourselves, uh, it was an incredible uh, year where they would work closely with us, we would work, we work closely with their engineers, mm -hmm. and very quickly they realized that uh, if you invest in the right team, uh, yep. you can go very, very far. And uh, so I'm thrilled to see this all happening, and. Uh, coming out here to MDC uh, and meeting folks like yourself. Uh, mm -hmm. Really cool. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's you brought up a couple of really interesting points. A lot of folks, that, and that really is part and parcel of the Bitcoin mining space where people that you would think immediately are like competitors. There's different miners to choose from. Yeah. However, the ecosystem from a supply chain side, there is a real need for additional control boards, mm -hmm. additional mm -hmm. avenues that if you can't get the, the you know, the AM logic or the Xilinx yes. or the Beagle Bone boards because, you know, it's just not working out, you do have another option here. We have been testing it to validate that that's working with like our Bitmain units and mm -hmm. stuff and that you guys now have a micro BT unit that you brought to market gives another option out there and then you also have additional firmware you guys have the firmware there's a lot of advantages with their firmware you buy this board and you there is no extra dev fees or anything like that right that's a perfect uh, uh, spot on yep uh, i would also add to it too is um coming from uh, prior industries like uh, the pc space and watching it grow and watching it mature mm. Uh, I see a lot of the goodness that in that in that ecosystem now migrating to this environment, and I think that's awesome. Same thing in the mobile industry; uh, a lot of the uh, best practices there are moving into here. Yeah. Uh, so, as an example, if we can create that layer of abstraction where a piece of hardware like mm -hmm. ours can actually work with a, a, a bit main, uh, with an Epic miner, uh, very soon something like a chain reaction miner. Yeah, uh, helps them in terms of their experience at the next level, where they're trying to integrate many, many, uh, many yep. systems together, and uh, that I'll call it sometimes mix and match. But at the end of the day, uh, it's it's performing what they want, which is to hash, and, uh, mm -hmm. optimize their hardware, and the fact that we can do that, uh, yeah. top to bottom and across. Uh, resonates with a lot of our new clients and uh, uh yeah and I, I think you know listening one of the key parts i'll say is 
sometimes it's really hard to like sit down with like a Bitmain and try to communicate with them different like firmware options. And as like, as a Bitcoin miner also ourselves, like trying to work with curtailments, trying to work with like time of use type of scenarios or huge temperature variances. In the Midwest where we're at, we have large temperature variances and having something that's adaptive and that, you know, you guys taking like an engineering approach to understand that problem and go, well, how can we work with the hardware that's here, existing platform stuff, not only your own, uh, you know, boards itself, but work with other Mm -hmm. boards to try to answer some of that thing. It's like really actually answering the call that we're looking for. And uh, we definitely appreciate that. Is there, um, you know, Let's just talk maybe a couple of features okay. that are on these control boards that people may not be familiar with That's on the a, Epic side. Uh, perfect, perfect uh, uh, query. I'll mm. give you an example: is uh, in West Texas, uh, mm. where there's a lot of wind farms, and it's it's great to see that out there. Uh, at mm. night, uh, I, I'm told it's the it's the windiest time. Yep. And in that environment where power might be more abundant, we have clients who want to use our control board, and we mm. know they can overclock. So yep. if, if the stock is 100 terahash, our control board, they're running at 115 terahash. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, throughout the evening, midnight, the mm-hmm. morning. And then what happens is, and uh, in, especially in West Texas, come around noon or one, it gets really, really hot. Some of those containers, actually, the temperature starts to rise. Mm-hmm. And in a scenario where we have what's called perpetual tuning, we can respond to that with all the telemetry mm-hmm. that we gathered. Uh, it actually now throttles the machines down and we continue to run at a lower, I call it eco mode, where, you know, miles per gallon in, 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 the, mm-hmm. in the automotive industry really starts to matter. Yeah. So uh, during the uh, hot afternoons, miles per gallon really matter. Yeah. In the evening, it's raw horsepower that matters. Yeah. So the fact that we could actually uh, tailor that. Now, if you can imagine that, not just on one miner, but a fleet of 10,000 miners, uh, those incremental 10, 15 percent really, really uh, really mixed. start to add up. And and, and the, the difference about ours is is again it's coming from our, our past. Uh, we are a hardware company. You buy the hardware, you plug it in, you use it as long as you can, and you can even potentially swap it out to the next generation. We do not have what's called a trailing uh, development fee, mm. uh, which I understand the ecosystem needs to build and to mm. grow. Uh, our approach has been is is we're helping you solve a problem now, uh, mm. and you can deploy it, and uh, we'll service it, and we'll, we'll uh, answer your questions. Yep. And uh, uh, you touched on it earlier. We're in North America, mm. uh, same time zone as, as everybody from the Pacific to the, the East Coast. Yep. Uh, you know, we have people who can uh, respond. And uh, I watch actually the exponential growth on some of our Telegram uh, exchanges on that. Mm. Uh, for me, it's a great proxy for how it's being used. Uh, people are asking for help and uh, we're trying our best to, to, yeah. to support them. Yeah, so, we've noticed that on a few questions we had, or, you know, right before the latest firmwares and we were trying to figure out how to deploy a, a particular thing. We were using a lot of APIs with oh, you yeah. guys to set up okay. and you guys have a published API yeah. set, which is really good. And just the responsiveness and it's like, well, wait a minute, you guys are in the, uh, in the USA. So like for, you know, your American, uh, you know, miners out here, you have somebody that's here in the States that can respond to you very quickly and, you know, answer some of the things. And you know, as we ran into things that we'd like to see, we've given you guys feedback. Absolutely. We're very we receptive of that. Yeah. Um, you know, especially when we start talking like the extra automation stuff, it's the perpetual tuning is really nice. Yeah. And then looking at some of the other opportunities that we can do when it comes to, you know, some of the customization of like locating and those kind of things when you're doing maintenance and, yeah. and stuff, right? Like trying to find a particular miner in your fleet and then how would that work with like some of the mining management mm-hmm. software? So that integration with that mining yes. management software is really critical too. And you know, the fact that you guys are open to like working on that is, is really good. So let's pivot over to like the newer product with sure. like when we're talking like the Intel miner yes. and stuff and it's just, Real quick, hot facts of what like the specs are and what we're Absolutely. looking at. So, uh, t- t- to relate to your audience, uh, our mm-hmm. Intel Block Miner, uh, the first generation, uh, we've achieved actually a performance level that is between something like a 
M30 S++ and an M50. So uh, the 30, 31 joules per terahash, mm -hmm. we call that our Gen 1. Yep. Uh, our Gen 2, we're, we're, we're going to be approaching to something like an XP. Mm -hmm. uh, we see it in our labs. Uh, we're quite excited about that. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, people are surprised that we actually have a Gen 3, which we don't talk about. Yeah. Uh, so they're also quite excited that there's a company that can help them immediately, can help them in, in the midterm. And, mm -hmm. and see that there's a future for them. So uh, again, for me, it's about building a relationship mm -hmm. with our clients where we can actually be there for the long run. And uh, at the end of the day, it's an investment. And it's Absolutely. investment in trust, investment in relationship, and obviously in the hardware and the support. So one thing I also love to tell your audience is, we're all surrounded by technology. Crypto, miners, even GPU miners. Yep. Uh, some people I like to think of as, as not a tech company, but almost as a service company. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if, if you look at it through that lens, uh, somebody will return your phone call, somebody will help you succeed, somebody will actually help you with your pre prior investment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a surprise that people yeah. say, wow, you guys can do that yeah. and, uh, and uh, keep doing it. And uh, that's, that's our, our approach. You know, you asked about uh, what's down the road or uh, sometimes you, uh, what's around the corner. Yeah. Um, you know, if I think of 2024 or even Q4, when we roll out some of our Gen 2, uh, again, uh, the uh, commitment that we had with our Gen 1 with Intel is just, just rolling over into, uh, into uh, our next product. And uh, mm -hmm. the uh, form factor is going to be the same. So we've leveraged all of the quality standards and yeah. best practices. So again, it's, it's building a foundation and growing. So uh, Yeah, that, that's great. I mean, having you know, a roadmap out there, you know that you guys are building for the future and ha crawl, walk, running out, getting yes. your first one out there. You're not waiting to try to get the latest tech edge. You're like, there's demand right now. We need to get the machines out there. Yeah. Let's get them in the hands. Start building that rapport and that, that relationship with folks as they start to do their own phase. And if you think about most mining deployment phases, most people, they may be targeting 100 megawatts, but they're going to crawl walk around that anyways. They're going to come in with, you know, the first 5,000 miners because it's a deployment thing. You don't want a lot of miners sitting. You want to get them deployed. So you got to, it's a tangible thing that you have to plan out on a schedule yeah. so that maybe their first phase is until their second phase starts to get into those yeah. XPs as you get in there. And as they start to build out that last phase, you have this natural rotation. It's a life cycle yes. in these larger farms, especially, right, that you may have three or four various generations. And that is because of that deployment deployment cycle. So I think you guys align in that kind of deployment thing really works out for, you know, the real world of the way the things deploy. And, you know, and with the, the upcoming happening, uh, we could see that there'll be people who made huge investments with their existing uh, mm -hmm. fleet, uh, their capital. Uh, if they, if I can actually help them improve what they already have, uh, that's a win-win. Uh, if people who are trying to prepare for the upcoming happening have the capital to go new equipment, we're also ready for that. Yep. So we're actually helping them solve two problems, uh, their existing investment and their new investment that they may want to uh, double down on. And uh, again, that gets back to is is uh, our commitment to that, to that space where, you know, uh, the quality starts to matter, mm -hmm. the life cycle starts to matter, and uh, the performance starts to matter. And uh, we're there. Yeah, no. Well, this has been really interesting. I want to make sure we covered everything. Is there anything else on the on the horizon that you guys haven't covered? Is there like water cooling? Is there like immersion? Yeah. No. Um, what, what's the kind of like yeah. the edge and the okay. future tech that you guys are looking with? So, so at Epic, uh, we've worked a lot with uh, the air cold space and in the immersion stuff. Even our existing miners, uh, we didn't have to, but we did. We actually built the miner where it's actually five kilowatts. Mm -hmm. No one can run five kilowatts in air, yeah. but you can run five kilowatts in immersion. So yeah. we don't actually force the uh, the customer to go buy a new power supply. We're immersion ready. Another challenge too that people think about is to make it ready for immersion. Uh, what they do today is is uh, they actually have to take the fans off of the power supplies. Yeah. Uh, you would know that because yep. you're so hands-on, is you have to take the power supply unit out, yep. you have to take the case off, you have to remove the fans. We don't need to do that because the, there are fans there, but there's a switch, you just turn them off. Mm -hmm. And it does not uh, does not uh, cause you any loss in downtime. Yep. It does not cause you any loss on your OEE because you have to pay a check to go in and do that. So all these little uh, mm -hmm. care abouts that, that make the quality yeah. of life in on the manufacturing 
when I call manufacturing, I mean the mining floor. Um, uh, better, faster. Um, you know, that's some of the value proposition that we bring. Um, I think in 2024, uh, I wish I could talk about it now, but our yeah, Gen, yeah, yeah, uh, our yeah, Gen yeah. 3. Uh, we'll we'll be sure to come out for that uh, next one and get, the, quite get excited that exclusive about, for you. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, uh, and by the way, I've been following uh, Bitsby yeah. Chippy just because I'm an engineer. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And all our guys are GPU uh, uh, providers. Yeah, miners, yeah. We and, uh, to see you now supporting supporting uh, the, ASIC. the ASIC, ASIC miners, I think is great. Yeah. And, uh, so we speak the same language. Absolutely. You know, it's easy to sit back and just get lost in the tech because a lot, of, and that's all, that talks to the community too. A lot of people come in here because they like seeing the advancement, like seeing the options and the mm -hmm. different things. And it, it does get, I think, amiss to some people to understand like the fact of like that switch for that, to be able yeah. to go straight into the immersion. Like the amount of time that you have to do to like take the box out, remove yeah. those fans and you start quantifying that like on a Gantt and looking like, yeah. who's gonna do that? How long is that gonna take? And you start talking at scale. Now you're talking, that you're, you're maybe a few extra days of deployment with all those individuals and stuff. So being able to go right from box to tank, mm -hmm. It, it just takes that entire life yeah. cycle and it's like a lean practice right almost yeah, yeah. like right uh -huh. so taking like a lean six sigma approach to it which is really good but okay. i think this has been great we're gonna have tons of stuff for you guys to be able to see as we've been talking through this you know with the b-roll and stuff but to make sure that they know and they know we'll make sure they know how to get to you guys Please on epicwatching.io yes. um and yeah these as are quickly and responding and we, we can't wait to see what you guys end up coming up with and then for sure for the folks that are watching if you have epic stuff post in the comments below your experience let us know the community is where, it, where we grow if there's stuff that you'd like to see put it down there i know these guys are looking forward to seeing some of those comments too so yeah and that's the only way we're going to improve absolutely okay. well great guys all right thank thanks you. we'll catch you guys on the next one